Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you tips how to score paper one Malay IGCSE. So for listening skill, these are the things that you're going to do is to understand short recording dealing with everyday needs like simple transaction, simple direction. And then the second one, understand factual information and ideas from a range of sources, announcement, phone messages, new items, interviews, dialogues on familiar topics. Third, to understand description of events, opinions, emotion, hopes, and ambition in simple text. For example, in radio broadcasts, interviews, dialogues. Four, identify main points, specific information, and details on everyday topics such as personal and family information, shopping, local area, employment, school, leisure, activities. So another reading skill that they want to test you is to identify main points, themes, opinion, ideas, emotion, attitudes in predict sorry, predictable text, such as new reports, conversation, interviews, and simple monologues. Deduce the meaning of occasional unknown word and expression from the context. So the area that they test, uh, what are the scope area that they test in listening is about everyday activities. Okay, How do you uh, telling the times, days, week, month, season, okay, about food and drink, meals, fruit, vegetable, meat, seafood, snack, drink and utensils. The human body, health, parts of body, health, and illness. So it's very important for you to know the body parts in Malay. Okay, and another vocab about travel and transport. Area B is about personal and social life. Self, family, vocabulary that include about self, family, and friends. In the home, room, living room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, furniture, furnishings, garden, household, Appliances, colors, clothes, accessories, and leisure time. Every see the world around us, people and places, continent, countries, nationalities, compass point, natural world, the environment, the climate, and the weather. Communicate and then communicate and technology, digital world, document and text. The built environment, building and services, urban areas, shopping. Measurement and material. Area D, the world of work. Education. So they probably probably ask you about vocabulary that relate to education, school, classroom, subject, and so on. Work, jobs, and career and the workplace. Area E, the international world. Countries, nationalities, languages, culture, custom, trade, and celebration. Okay, now we're going to look at the details of space. Okay, now we're going to look at the details of the speaking assessment. Approximately, you will have 50 minutes, including 6 minutes, to transfer time. So what it means by that, you have 50 minutes to listen to the audio, and 6 minutes is to transfer your answer from the question paper to OMR form where you sheet your answer. Okay, so question 1 until 8, you will listen to short text. Question 9 until 14, usually it's about monologue, dialogue that containing factual information. Question 15 until 19, did it listen to a conversation and match the names of people, places, items, or activities in correct statements? Question 20 until 28, candidates listen to the dialogue conversation, discussion, or interview. Question 29 until 34, candidates listen to a dialogue. Question 35 until 37, candidates listen to a conversation or discussion or interview. So you must remember, this is very important. For question 35 until 37, you must select two options which are true. Means you have two answers for the last three questions. Okay, let's look at question number one until number eight. So here... Question number one, it tests about how do you say numbers in Malay? How do you state time in Malay? Okay, this is about drink. Just like I said, just, I, just like I mentioned just now, the scope area is about makanan, about food. 
Okay, so if you want to know what are the scope area, you can play to the uh, few seconds where I explained the scope area just now. Okay, question three, they test about your vocabulary, about your about the object, and then question four, places. Okay, then question five, about activities. Uh, this is what I meant just now. You have to know body parts in Malay. So if you don't know, please study body parts in Malay. And this one is about cuaca. Cuaca means weather. Okay, to tips to score question one until number eight, you need to read uh, baca kamus bergambar, pictionary. Okay. Hafal tajuk popular. Okay, memorize popular topics such as anggota badan means body parts. Waktu, time, pakaian, clothes. Makanan dan minuman, benda. Okay, things, food and drink. Okay, this is uh, the sample question, a specimen. You can download this specimen question. I will put the link in the description so that you can try on your own. Okay, so here you will listen to satu pengumuman. Pengumuman means announcement. So from that announcement, you will have to answer uh, by listening to the audio. But... My concern is that question number 9 until 14, they will not mention soalan 9. Like question 1 until 8, they will mention which question they're talking about. So you have really have to listen carefully. And please, when the audio said, anda dikehendaki membaca soalan dalam beberapa saat. It means read the question in few seconds. Please read the question according to the section 9 until 14. So read first question 9 until 14. Before you answer, before you listen to the audio. Make use of the time that they give you. Okay, this is question 11. Question 12. Okay, the object that related in your daily life. Same goes to 13. Okay, barang-barang uh, sukan, peralatan sukan. Okay, tips for question number 9 until 14. Here, just like I said, no number... No number mentioned. So you, read, need, you need to read the question and alert with the keywords from the question. Okay, now, question 15 until 19. They will give you a list. Uh, number 15 until 19. So this list could be activities, could be places. Okay, They want you to match this tempat with the statement below. So they will give you this statement. And you will have to write whether the option A, B, C, D, E, okay, on the line here. You will not use, uh, let's say, merasa makanan yang lazat. They will not use direct uh, vocab, direct word that they put it in the question paper. They probably uh, going to use synonym word. In fact, they use a lot of synonym, sorry, synonym words in the audio. Okay, tips for question number 15 until 19. Alert with the keyword from the question. Need to know kata synonym. Okay. I, I'm going to repeat myself uh, a lot about how you guys need to know kata synonym for you to answer paper listening well. Okay. And always double check with the transcript. But to check with the transcript is the last process after you done with the whole, after you done answering the whole set, then you check your answer with the transcript. I will show you what it means by transcript after this. Okay, then question 20 until 28. Uh, now the conversation become longer and complicated, a bit complicated. Okay, so for question 20 until 28. Uh, 20 and 28, they were divided into two parts. Bahagian satu means part one. So part one, uh, question 20 and 24. So listen to the audio and answer until 24. This one question 22, 23, and 24. And they were berhenti. Okay, so this one, the word berhenti going to help you a lot so that you alert as the audio pause. It means they want you to alert that they are going to continue question 25 until 28. So, when they give you time to read, anda diberikan masa beberapa saat untuk menjawab soalan 25 hingga 28. Uh, membaca soalan 25 hingga 28. When they say that, please make use of the time to read question 25 
and P28. Okay. So, move on to the next section. Question 29 and 20. Sorry, 29 and 34. Same, no more number mentioned. So, you have to be alert with the keyword on the question. This is longer conversation. Students should stay focused and able to identify the main point. What is the question one? Need to know Carter synonym. And then once you're done with the question, double check with transcript. Okay, so this is how question 29 looks like. 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, now the last section of question uh, listening paper. Question 35 and 37. So please, please, please remember this. Question 35, the last three question, you need to have two answers. Okay. So there will, uh, whether it's interview or uh, usually it will be an interview. Interview. So you will have to pick two answers. Okay. Same goes to this. Okay. As you see, the word berhenti here, it means it will pause audio for you to get ready for the next question. All right. So I'm going to tell you how do you check your answer with transcript. So the transcript going to help students a lot. So make use of the transcript. Let's say you have listened uh, to the audio and you have your answer and you want to know why you got this question wrong. Okay, so I take question 37 as the example. Okay, so question 37, the answer is A and C. So, Dani yakin dengan... Yak, Dani yakin tentang penilaian yang dia buat. Kawan-kawan Dani menolong membuat ujian tentang vlognya. So, the, the one that I highlight is the, actually is the answer. Let's say you choose B and you don't know why you got it wrong. So, that is the purpose of transcript. So, this is the transcript. For question 37. Okay. So, Dani said in that interview, Saya belajar ilmu kimia dan biologi. Jadi, saya tahu apa yang baik dan apa yang tidak. I learn about chemistry and biology, so I know what is good, what is not. From this statement, it shows that Dani is yakin tentang penilaian yang dia buat. Penilaian is review. So, Dani confident with the review that he made. Okay, so he confident because he study about chemistry and biology and to say that I know what is good, saya tahu apa yang baik dan apa yang tidak, it shows that Dani is confident. Okay, second answer, C, kawan-kawan Dani menolong membuat ujian untuk vlognya. Okay, here, sebenarnya saya sendiri mengguna bahan-bahan ini. Atau saya meminta kawan-kawan saya mencubanya untuk saya. So he does mention that he asked his friend to try it for him. Okay, so D. Okay, let's say you choose D and your answer is wrong. Dani percaya pembuat vlog seharusnya pakar. It means Dani believe uh, to be vlogger, someone should be pakar. Pakar mean expert. Okay, but in the uh, in the transcript it says the interviewer asks, adakah mudah untuk memulakan vlog? Mudah saja. Ikut minat anda, tak payah ada pengalaman. So, is it easy to start vlog? So, Dani said, it's easy. Just follow your passion. No need to have pengalaman. In a way, you don't have to be expert to be vlogger. So, statement D is totally wrong. So, that is the importance of for you to refer to the transcript once you have done the whole set uh, to check your answer, to check your understanding. Okay, I hope this video helped you. So, I have... Uh, I have prepared few vocabulary that might help you, that going to help you for your exam. So, you can pause at your own pace. Another vocabulary about tempat. Okay, another. Kata kerja, the more common kata kerja. Okay, few more. Angkut badan, okay, this is what I mentioned. They are going to ask this uh, in question number one at number eight. Healthcare, Taiwan, 
perkiraan okay, the, uh, topik lain okay, you can so it's very important for you to know synonym word now i'm going to explain to you uh, what it means by synonym how they going to ask question showing synonym okay so this is not um, paper three listening paper but i just want to share you the sentences so that you can see uh, this is what it means by synonym okay if you look at here the sentence peperiksaan akan bermula tidak lama lagi it means exam will start soon okay so the answer option hampi so this is the answer to describe tidak lama lagi so probably you will listen in the audio it will say peperiksaan akan bermula tidak lama lagi so in the question paper they write peperiksaan uh, akan dot 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 okay so you a they put tamat b hampir c batal uh, so the answer to describe soon is actually hampir hampir mean close okay now we look at another example okay uh, mereka telah mengirim email pada bekas-bekas pelajar menampal poster di sekolah menengah dan juga meminta sumbangan daripada peniaga di bandar itu so dia meminta sumbangan asking for donation asking for you know contribution so the answer option they put derma derma means donate so if you don't know what is donate you going to have problem to answer the question because this is what the audio said meminta sumbangan but in the the answer option they put uh, makanan uh, what else makanan kering and derma so the answer is derma so it's very important for you to know sumbangan and derma is the same thing okay so these are the vocab for kata synonym this is kata synonym vocab that i uh, list down so that you can use it and study okay you can post sorry you can pause at your own rate okay another one another one Okay, another tips is to faham kata tanya. Ask word in Malay. Apakah means what? Berapakah? So, if you uh, if you interviewer, your the audio said berapakah? Okay, at least you can alert. They're talking about quantity. They said di manakah? You can alert. You can alert uh, asking about place. Siapakah? is asking about person. Mengapakah? Why? is asking about reason bagaimanakah is always how uh, ways okay method okay so please alert if you have weak vocab about kata tanya please do revision about this one okay so summary baca soalan apabila diberi masa please please make use of your time to read the question once you done doing the specimen paper please refer to the transcript the transcript is very important to help you to understand better Probably you can't uh, hear it properly. So this transcript, you can see their dialogue clearly. Okay, and please during the exam, please bring pencil to B because the last six minutes, you need to transfer your answer from question paper to OMR form. Uh, so you need your 2B pencil for that. Okay, same. I repeat, repeat this so many times already. Please no kata synonym. And the last three questions, you must have two answer so please uh, shape answer okay focus terutamanya apabila audio diulang untuk kali kedua please focus when they repeat the audio for the second time okay don't be overconfident with answer so hear it for the second time to double check your answer okay so uh, i also have prepared a set of listening question paper I sell it in my Shopee. So once you're done with the specimen paper, if you want to, if you want to try another set of listening practice, uh, you can get it from my Shopee. The link in the description. And this is the sample how the question looks like. If you're interested to buy this listening set question paper, go to Shopee, click buy now, and then they will bring you to this page at the message section. Please provide me your email so that I can send this set question paper to your email. Okay, this is my email for example. And then once you're done, click place order. Thank you so much for watching.
and all the best for your exam.